Hey there, David here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to actually use any font on your GroovePages websites. So this will involve a little bit of copy pasting of some code, nothing major, but it's it's actually pretty fun. So let me show you. This font we do not have in our inbuilt GroovePages library of fonts. So when you go to text, there is no font uh, like this one. As you can see, it's actually set up on Leto. This is definitely not Leto font. Uh, so I'm going to show you a way on how you can manage a font directly on a heading one, heading two, heading three. Like for example, this one is heading two, as you can see in the top here. If we change it to heading one, it's actually going to take the custom code that, uh, like, uh, sorry, custom font, any font that you have, you could use uh, with this technique. So let me show you how to do it. Uh, let's just go to da font, da font or da font, not sure how to pronounce it, but let's just use this waffle story or any, any font that you find, you can use it for this one. So we download it. All right, I'm going to save it. And now we need to go to font squirrel, font squirrel. And here in the font squirrel, you can see that they have a web font generator, which will mean that we can actually create our own web font. Now, uh, we will open this waffle story uh, font that we that we downloaded. Let me see what's the issue here. Here we go. I'm going to I'm going to just take this OTF font and extract it to a font demo folder. All right. Now that I have it, I have this font over here. I'm going to leave it on optimal. I'm going to click this. Yes, this font I'm uploading are legally eligible for a web and embedding and download your kit. All right. So this is going to be creating a different type of file that we could uh, use in in code so we can put it in css and put it inside inside a code so we're just going to put it in this folder here open the folder and just extract it in in this uh, so extract here all right we'll get a couple of different uh, different files i'm just going to delete what we do not need what we need is these files over here so we need this uh wolf to and dot wolf files and we need the style sheet css everything else you can really uh, delete so what we need is style sheet style sheet and then the fonts dot wolf and the, the fonts dot wolf two files so these are the ones that we need to keep all right so once we have that one we need to go and upload these somewhere we already have an up uh, a place where we could upload fonts in groove so this is in groove member you open groove member and here we can have the files uploaded here. I'm just going to go to upload file and I'm going to say waffle story font waff and then I can select the file waffle story web font waff. All right, upload the file. Once it's done, I can upload the other one, which is waffle story font waff. Two, all right. I'm going to select this file and upload it. So now there's a tricky part. Now we need what? Now we have these files uploaded to a Groove, but we need to get a link to these files. So what we need to do is uh, copy the URL and actually download these files. So like literally download it. So click the download button and then download it anywhere on your on your uh, computer. So once we have that one, we'll uh, this was the WAF2. We're just going to copy the other one as well and download it. And this is a necessary step. Even though you already have that file, you, you, need, to uh, you need to download it one more time. So now that it's done, we can uh, go out and go back into our folder where I mentioned that we will need this style sheet CSS. It's a, it's a file that looks like this. And we'll just need to replace this part. So WAF2. Waffle story web font dot waf. We'll need to just replace them with the links of the files. So now let's just share the screen like this. So we will go into our into these three dots into our downloads folder. You can also use the shortcut Control J. And here you can see when we downloaded these files from Groove Member, we have the file download links. So these are the direct download links. So we have the .wav file. So I'm going to just click over here on, with a right click and copy link address. 
So the dot wav file is this one. Uh, so the dot wav uh, like string is this one. So I'm going to just replace this one with the actual download link in here. And then here is this is the wav two. So we are just going to right click, copy link address, and then replace this string here in the in here. So that's basically it. Now what we can do is we could also uh, copy this curly bracket here at the at the bottom. So we copy the curly bracket and we're just going to take this one. So this string you copy, paste it in here and then we are just going to put a closing curly bracket. Now there's a there's a thing that you have to kind of decide what you want to use this font for. So you can you can put in here uh, H, uh, H1 and then, f uh, sorry, I think it's going to come here. So H1 and then font family is waffle star regular. There's one more thing that we need to add and that's going to be uh, before uh, before this, so at the end of this, uh, this little kind of apostrophe, um, we're going to be putting in uh, exclamation mark important. All right, it's important. So now once we are done with this one, we copy this and we paste it into groove pages. So we paste it into the site settings. So we go to this uh, cogwheel site settings and we post it as a custom CSS. As you can see, I already had here the this font. If you are adding in multiple fonts, then you can just uh, you just do the same thing. I'm just going to replace everything here with my new font. So once I save, this part should change. So let's just check it out. All right. As you saw now, uh, it reloaded and it changed the font from the previous one to this one. So if I go now select this part of text and if I put it to H1, I'm now using a custom font that we downloaded from DA fonts or DA font and we created a web font. Now, uh, some of you may be thinking that it will not stay. This is just like, okay, now it's in your builder, but it's actually not. It's it's going to load this also in the preview and also when you publish the page. So as you can see here, it is in the preview. This is our, uh, our new font. And also when you publish the page, so it will work. So there you go, guys. You now know how to create, um, how to create pages with your custom fonts, any font online. We will have in the future um, option where you just directly upload your fonts, uh, maybe here in the text options, uh, somewhere here, maybe add a, add custom font or, or maybe in the settings. I'm not quite sure, but we will have that functionality. But in the meantime, you could use this as a workaround and basically build your sites with any font. Uh, before actually I finish, I just want to mention one more thing that you can you can add many more things like many more types of text in here like for example at this moment i activated this font only for h1 if you would like to use paragraph um for for headings heading one heading two then you just add a dash and type in h2 and then you save it if you want it also for paragraph text then you just say uh dash p all right here when you click on something you will see it's a p tag here you will see that's a h1 tag here you will see that it's a it's a p tag as well so everything that that it says here as a first part uh, you'll be able to to add into that code and uh, once it's done once you saved it then you can just really easily come over here change the change the actual type to the one that you activated the font for and you have your font on on those types of text so that is it uh, hopefully you learned something new if you have any questions let us know but that is how you can use your fonts now